Hey guys, welcome back. This week we're going to take a look at a brand new feature in Dynamics 365 Advanced Warehouse that lets us split work inside the Dynamics 365 application. We'll take a look at that when we get right back. Hey guys, welcome back. I'm Scott and this is the Dynamics Post. This week we're going to take a look at splitting work. It's a new feature that's in Dynamics 365 and we've looked at splitting work from the mobile device, but this allows us to split work inside Dynamics. So you've created your work, it allows you to split it up. Where this is helpful is, let's say at the end of the day, you get a big order, maybe your work templates are set up to spit out 100 lines, and one person can't pick, physically pick all, all those 100 lines, and you've got a couple of other people waiting around. What you can do is actually split that work up into multiple little chunks so that everybody can take a piece and get the order picked. Okay, so it's a real simple feature to, to implement and use, so let's take a look at how we use that. All right, so this one's pretty easy to use. There's not any setup to it um, other than turning it on in feature management. Um, so let's go down to uh, sales and marketing and we'll create a sales order, go into all sales orders. And I'll use my traditional example. Use account numbers US004 in uh, warehouse 24. And this time what we'll do is we're gonna add two lines. We'll add an A001 for one, and then we'll add an A002. Now obviously this works for any amount of lines, but I'm just gonna add two here just to make it simple. And then let's go to warehouse and we'll go ahead and release that to the warehouse. All right, so what we're gonna do next is we're gonna go down to, I could get to the work from here, but I think it's easier to see if we go to the all work screen. So I'm gonna go down to warehouse management, and then I'm gonna to go to the all work screen. And the last thing there should be for my sales order, which is that one right there. We'll open that one up. And then I'll have two lines here for that sales order 1414. So to do the split, um, all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna to go to the work up here and then there's a split work option here. So I'm gonna click on split work. And then you'll check the items that you wanna split off. So I'm just gonna check out, check the one, but you know, obviously you could filter in here and, and check the ones that you wanna to, want to have it split off as, right? So then once you do that, you're gonna go ahead and hit split work. And what we're left with line two, let's close this out here and let's take a look and see what happened. So if we look at the work here, notice that the first line was canceled. This is the one that I split off. So it cancels the first line of work, leaves the other um, other line open, and, a, and a, so you have a pick and you have a single put to bay door. So it open, updates the put line as well. So if we go back to the all work screen, let's close this one out and refresh this. So now it created a second work. This was the one that was split off. So now we've got two works for 1414. Click on that one there. And then we have the pick and put just for the first item there. So as you can see, that feature is real simple to use. Real, there's no setup to it really. Um, it's just there in the, in the work menu. So feel free to give that a try and let me know how it turns out for you. And also let me know of any other scenarios that you might use it for. Um, I actually ran into that scenario I gave an introduction about uh, at the end of the day receiving a, a large work and wanting to be able to split that up in my last implementation. So uh, it's something that um, obviously other people would wanted or they wouldn't have done that. So I hope you liked this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. That helps me on the distribution of the video. And like I said at the beginning, uh, I put a video out at least once a week with some, some Dynamics process. So if you like that, you know, go ahead and subscribe so you get notified when I release a new video.